how to build the perfect toolkit for adventure riding and dual sport riding. We will cover the basic toolkit, then the ultimate version for long trips in remote areas. We also have tips for reducing the weight, where to carry your toolkit, and how to bulletproof your bike. How many tools do you need? That depends on various factors. Are you riding alone? How far are you going? Is it a remote area? Do you have friends who will collect you and your broken down bike? Are you subscribed to a roadside assistance service? Will that service provide assistance in remote areas? How much weight are you prepared to carry? And are you a lazy bastard who relies on riding buddies to bring the right tools? Heading into remote areas? BMW Adventure Accessories will keep you going, even if your bike doesn't keep going. The price includes free bike rescue and transport to a scrapyard. The basic toolkit. The standard toolkit for most bikes is very simple and is only suitable for short rides. We think it's a good idea to add a few items that aren't heavy or bulky. A small air pump, use valve caps that can also remove valves, Carry some spare valves, a spare spark plug, clutch and front brake levers, and of course duct tape, zip ties and wire. As used by space shuttle engineers, zip ties can be used as emergency piston rings. Duct tape can be used to silence riding buddies who talk too much. The toolkit of champions. Venturing further from home, let's add some more tools. Tubeless tires, carry a tubeless repair kit. Tubes carry spare tubes, tire irons and a puncture repair kit. To reduce weight you can have just a front tube which can be used in the rear wheel for an emergency repair. See our video about reducing punctures. What else? Extra nuts and bolts, spare fuses, a tow rope, brake pads, a basic first aid kit. A metal epoxy like JB Weld or Quick Steel is good for repairing broken levers or holes in radiators and crankcases. If it's a big hole, you can use the alloy sheet from a soda can to cover larger areas. Chain repairs, carry a chain breaker, spare links, and a master link. Riding for days in remote areas? Ah, let's get serious. Carry enough tools for use on every nut and bolt on your bike. Rubber hose can be useful if your fuel line breaks. A universal cable repair kit is handy for broken clutch or throttle cables. Think about spare parts such as fuel pumps and electronics like the regulator and ECU, especially if these are a known issue with your motorbike. Electrical issues. Carry spare wiring and a voltmeter to diagnose issues. Carry a flashlight if your phone doesn't have one power packs and or jumper leads. Some motorbikes can't be clutch started when the battery dies. Vice grips can be a substitute for broken levers. On motorbikes with dual front brakes, these can clamp off a broken brake line in order to let the other brake line function. Super glue can be useful for small holes in radiators and even be used to close gashes in your skin. An emergency side stand can be useful if there are no logs or big sticks to lift your motorbike for wheel removal. Extra engine oil, brake fluid and a brake fluid bleeding kit. Water purification tablets or water filters are a great idea if you could be stranded for a long time. A handsaw, knife, insect spray, cigarette lighter and a pair of walking shoes are handy for the same reason. Consider a more advanced first aid kit and also a first aid course. A space blanket is very compact but useful in very cold conditions. A winch and pulley system. These are great if you need to pull a big adventure bike out of a ditch. A solo rider with back problems can also use this to lift a fallen bike. Do you have any tips? Let us know and we'll include them in the pinned first comment. If you ride alone or in extremely remote areas, see our video about tips for solo riding. It covers topics such as emergency beacons, unplanned nights in extreme conditions and other safety tips. How to lighten the load. A common question by serious adventure riders is how do you carry so much stuff on your bike? If you ride with others, share the load. If you have five riders, you only need one first aid kit one chain breaker, one set of jumper leads. 
Where you carry all this luggage is important too. Carry heavy items as low as possible. For example, some riders carry tyre irons strapped to the lower frame. Try to centre the weight as much as possible. Heavy weight at the rear of the bike can affect handling badly. How to bulletproof your bike. Prevention is better than cure. Good maintenance will dramatically reduce your chances of breakdowns. Duh. Ride to the conditions. Slow down and take less risks in remote areas. Motorbike protection. Hand guards and bash plates. Engine guards. These add weight, but might prevent a major problem. If you really hate punctures, buy an adventure bike that has tubeless tyres. Or if you have spoked wheels, see if you can fit the tubeless system to your bike. If you ride a lot of remote areas, consider an older style of bike with carburetor, minimal electronics, and even just air-cooled. Most modern bikes are very reliable, but these old school bikes can be a great choice when you are miles from anywhere. What do you carry? Any further tips? Let us know in the comments.